Hey guys, welcome back to another paired card reading here on this channel, Into the Light, where I am providing you guys with some guidance based on my own experiences and also just trying to help you live a more successful, positive life. So today's paired card reading is going to be all about your soulmate. So in this reading, we're going to be looking into some details about your soulmate, who they are, what their personality is like, um, and I have some channeled messages in this cute little box or bin here. So I will be picking from this as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And the next slide will show you the pictures or the cards to choose from. All right, so those of you who have chosen the Queen of Hearts, this reading here is for you. So what is your soulmate going to be like? Who they are? So we're going to get into it. So we'll start off with some, a channeled message, or not a channel, a message from your soulmate. These are the Lover's Oracle cards. So we're going to look into what they have to say to you. Let's we'll take that out. Queen of Hearts. My magical number here today is three, apparently, so. All right, let's look into it. So this is what we got. So it says, if each time I thought of you were a flower, I could walk in my garden forever. Each time I thought of you were a flower, I could walk in my garden forever. That's so sweet. And we have this one here. And it says, love is perfect even when we are not. Wow. So this person, you might have like some differences with each other. Um, you might be from different backgrounds here. And then we have this one here. And it says, the strongest emotion is often expressed in silence. All right. So those were your little messages. And I'm going to get into the Psychic Tarot. This uh, deck is by John Holland. Um, and it's called the Psychic Tarot. So those of you who have chosen the Queen of Hearts, who is your soulmate? Who is your soulmate? The ones that have chosen the Queen of Hearts. Who is your soulmate? All right. Coolio. So we have light, triumph, and we have prosperity begins. So your soulmate, uh, maybe someone that is um, in the spotlight. So they can be um, famous or just recognized for something that they do. This person also loves to travel. They travel a lot. Um, and they're definitely like financially stable. All right. This person may also be uh, spiritual. Um, they believe in spirituality or just a higher power, whatever that is, to them. This person may be an animal lover. They may have a green thumb, like they like to um, uh, like plant and grow their own fruits and veggies. Their sacral chakra is very balanced. They may love to do yoga. Yeah, and we'll just look at the bottom of the deck here. Financial and material changes. Wow. 
I'll just so oh, this was at the bottom of the deck so yeah this person is very abundant very abundant and when this person meets you they're going to know that you're the one like with the the rings here like they know that you're their divine counterpart Yes. We're also going to look into the karma cards and know a little bit more about who your soulmate is. So those of you who have chosen the queen of hearts. <laughs> okay. Those of you who have chosen the queen of hearts. Who is their soulmate? Spirit, let me know. Okay. So we got... Mercury, Scorpio, so this person may be a Scorpio, um, also I'm getting Aquarius, Cancer, or Virgo, or any Earth sign. Um, we also have the North Node. And we have Aries. So this person could be an Aries as well. Alright, so I'm going to look into these cards. This person likes to make their own rules. But it's like... They're not like reckless with it. It's like they like to have things set up a certain way so they can strive for like success, you know? This person is uh, really great at communicating what they want. So they strive for that. It's probably why they're in like such a higher up position too. Um, or they're just rec or why they're recognized for the work that they do because you know they strive for the best this person may also have some highs and lows where like um, they want to express to you how much they love you and everything like uh, physically um, because they may not be able to do that emotionally, if that makes sense. So like the way that their love language may be to um, buy you things or to make you dinner instead of being like lovey-dovey, let's cuddle on the couch type thing. Which like, not saying that you won't cuddle on the couch, but they're more like, they more show love through physical things and through like, Yeah, this person may also, like, be reminding you to um, not worry so much. Like, if you're someone that is always has, like, a lot on your mind, you're kind of, like, a little frantic sometimes, this person will remind you of your own willpower and will show you, like, how to um, kind of, you know, get by in life, you know, since if they're, like, up there at the top, they obviously know some good stuff. This person, this soulmate of yours is just telling you do not worry. Um, and I'm seeing now is the time too. So I feel like this soulmate is coming into your life very soon. But let's get into the channeled messages to know a little bit about who your soulmate is. So those of you chosen the queen of hearts, who is your soulmate? What do they like? What are their interests? What's the personality? What do they got to say? So I'm just gonna... Okay. So let's see what fell out. We have brown hair. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it says brown hair, which is like, yeah, probably. This person has some luscious long brown hair. If you look at this Triumph card, or they can be blonde since you see the 
this blonde here. This person smokes or did smoke once upon a time. And this person says, hope you love me too. Hope you love me too. All right, so that was for you guys that have chosen the Queen of Hearts. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Please give me a like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. All right, so those of you who have chosen the Seven of Diamonds, this reading here is for you. So who is your soulmate? What are they like? We're going to be looking into that today. I also have some channel messages here to kind of look into their personalities, their looks, what they're like. All right. So we're going to start off with the Lover's Oracle here to just get a little bit of their energy about this connection. So what this connection is like between you two. Those of you chosen Connection between you and your soulmate. Ooh, heavy, heavy. All right, so we have four cards here. Wow, this is really pretty. So it says, if you never have a broken heart, you'll never truly learn to love. Wow, so this person may have had a broken heart before they met you, or had their heart broken before they met you. Here we have this one. It only takes a second to say, I love you, but it takes a lifetime to show how much. Wow, so maybe even this person came out of a relationship and, you know, they felt like they probably didn't do that much in expressing their love to someone. Um, so when they meet you, they're going to know how to do that better. You see two souls with but a single thought, two hearts that beat as one. So yeah, this is your soulmate here. And then we have this card here. And it says, it is better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for what you are not. So this person is going to love you for all of your um imperfections to say that all right that's really sweet so we're gonna go on with these karma cards here for those who chose the seven of diamonds i don't know why i did that but it felt right it felt right so you yeah. know Okay, so we have Aries, so this person could be an Aries, we have the moon, this person could be a Pisces, we have Jupiter, maybe a Sagittarius, Leo, and then we have Neptune, so yeah, Pisces, or oh, Pisces, Cancer, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. All right. And then we're going to go into the psychic tarot here. So who is the soulmate of those who have chosen the seven of diamonds? Who is their soulmate? Seven of diamonds. Who is their soulmate? Wow. Seven of diamonds. Who's there? Alright. So we have. Wow. This card popped out again for the last reading. Okay, so we have rest and rejuvenate. We have Crown chakra, so definitely a divine counterpart of yours. And we have prosperity begins. <clears throat> All right, so what I'm picking up here is your soulmate could be 
definitely when you meet your soulmate, they might be a little bit, maybe um, a little exhausted um, from like a past relationship. Like they had to go through a lot of healing and they may have to do this when you meet. So um, yeah, just be patient with them because they've been through a lot, you know, and they're still trying to heal their um, their heart chakra, like with all the screen, they're still trying to heal. This person also might really love being outdoors. They might love camping. Um, with this card here, he's just literally sitting in the forest. So, um, yeah. And with the crown chakra, this person also, he looks like he's meditating. So this person might also be uh, very spiritual. They might meditate, do some yoga. Um, this person is very, um, probably very lucky when it comes to money and expanding their business or whatever they do in their career. They're really great with money. Very lucky. Yeah, this person may also be like a leader or like a manager in their position, just very high, like higher up. This card, Neptune, like I'm seeing sacrifice and be prepared to sacrifice. So yeah, this also makes me think of they were in a relationship prior and that relationship didn't really make them that happy. So it's like they um, sacrificed what they know to be with you because they feel that connection. Um, they also might be someone that inspires others and that might be part of their job too. This person also may be really guided by like their feelings as well. So like they, they do what feels right for them. Um, and they, instead of like, but like if they're angry, instead of reacting, they'll kind of just like retreat and be like, okay, I'm, I'm, I see that we're a little frustrated at each other right now. Let me just back off, give it some time and we'll try over again. This person also, your soulmate also um, has a lot of willpower. So they've probably been through a lot, but they keep on going on and moving up. And it's like every time they, you know, leave a situation, they get out of it stronger. You know what I mean? All right. So let's go into the channel messages about your soulmate. All right. So who is your soulmate? Oh, that was a lot. Okay, let's see. So we got together forever. It's gonna be really hard to see these, sorry guys. Ooh, we got sneaky. We have don't forget me. Yeah, maybe this person is also like may be going through a lot too so they're kind of like in their feelings um and they might not come forward and tell you about this like they may not speak about it like they just want to deal with things on them like on their own and not get you involved we got children so this person may love children work with children or you might have children with this person we got cunning um, what else do we have here? Animal lover. We have good cook. This person's good at cooking up. We have baseball. They might play baseball, been a part of a baseball team, um, might like a baseball player. And we also got charismatic. Oh. Charismatic here. I know you can't really see too much, but yeah, that's what it says. So yeah, hopefully that resonated with you guys. Good luck. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you for being here today. Bye.
All right, those of you who have chosen the king of cloves or clovers, this card. <laughs> Sometimes, I don't know what's going on, but yeah. So we're gonna look into who is your soulmate? Who is your soulmate? What do they like, their personality? What do they have to say to you? So first I'm gonna be doing, uh, looking into your lover's oracle card to see how this connection is. Like um, the emotions and energies regarding your connection. All right. Ooh. Love is an angel disguised in lust. There's three people there. This one here. Sometimes the one thing you are looking for is the one thing you cannot see. Huh. What was that? Oh, I just dropped some cards. Love has no limits and has no regrets. Hmm. And this guy's playing um, the by uh, the harp. The harp, I believe. He's playing the harp. He might be a, this person may be a mu musician. Your soulmate may be a musician. Um, sometimes the one thing you're looking for is the one thing you cannot see. Hmm. Your soulmate, you might already know your soulmate not really know your soulmate but like this person's already around you but you haven't really noticed that maybe um that can be for some of you this person may also have been in a third party situation and um I don't know, like this angel, like just looking at this card, like this angel is like giving the guy a kiss and then the girl on the side is like, huh? Who are you? And her hand's like up, like stop. If you can see that, her hand is up. So hmm. Yeah, this person may just sweep in when you least expect it. We'll say that. So I want to look into the karma cards here to see a little bit about your soulmate. Who is your soulmate? Who is your soulmate? So we have the seventh house. We have Pisces, so this person could be a Pisces. Their soulmate could be a Pisces. <clears throat> we have the tenth house, the sun. We have Aries. Oh my gosh. Aries popped out for the last two readings as well. So we're going to try and see if we can get some more signs in here. So it's not like so much the same, you know. About the second house. Give me a sign, spirit. Please give me a sign. A new sign. We've got eighth house. Okay. Ooh. I don't know why that happened. I'm kind of clumsy sometimes. All right, we got Taurus and Gemini. So it can be a Taurus. They can be a Taurus or a Gemini. All right, so this person, um, your soulmate may have like a really, I probably said this, but 
they might be like a really responsible person and they have a lot of responsibilities um they're very very like they're very career focused very career focused especially with the seventh house here and the tenth house and then the second house they're very career focused and it's like what they value and what they believe they go for that um they may have like a business partnership with someone but yeah they're like a leader especially with aries here like aries is the first um astrological sign to be become so this person um this person works very hard sorry i was reading this one so also with this taurus card here i'm seeing that this person is um loves the finer things uh, especially with the second house here like the money and yeah this person loves the finer things and they have a lot of resources like they have a lot of like connections um they might network a lot with other people especially if this is a part of like their whole business stuff like they might um have to form a lot of different relationships with people and also with gemini here so we have the gemini so this person could be an air sign of course uh, they think ideas come to them like quick you know and like when they decide to do something it's like they're they're in their book like writing everything down everything they need to know um yes and then with pisces here they may be a spiritual person um they may have dreams of you before you met or you have dreamed of them before you met if you know it or not All right, so we have deception and envy. Material harvest. Okay, I'll just take these three. We have love begins face chakra and we also have trapped in fear all right so looking at this like the deception and envy card remember when i said like this might be a third party situation like somebody like kind of like swooped in or they were in a relationship prior and then kind of popped up and they're like well this person is so much better yeah might be going on material harvest this person as i said like they may be a leader of their team or whatever their career that they're in or they have a lot of passions that whatever they're passionate about makes them a lot of money They may be like in the law or the legal system, something like that with their career. And then we see love begins here. So yeah, I think you guys like have like an immediate like connection, like immediately like, yes, this is my person. And this is the base chakra here. So this person is very like, uh, stable physically like they may have like built themselves up with, like a nice foundation like they're making money they're set you know um, yeah they have a lot of stability in their life when it comes to like the physical stuff but they need to find a balance because they might be in their head a lot 
especially with this trapped in fear they might be in their head a lot maybe like maybe they're also like if they are part of like a whole business team and stuff too maybe they have like a little bit of trust issues of like others around them and they're just like um yeah they might have a little bit of trust issues so yeah let's get into your channeled messages here So, your soulmates, who are they? Tell me about them. Okay, that was a lot. It's all right. So, we have Knight in Shining Armor. Okay, so he kind of just, he, she, doesn't matter. They swooped in. You have Green Thumb. So they may like to garden. We have, especially with this material harvest here too, like there's apples there. They might like harvesting or they might like farming. Then we have animal lover, which is great. This person may have moles or beauty marks on their face. This person smokes or used to smoke, especially if they're stressed all the time and you just, you know, <laughs> probably like, I'm gonna smoke. <laughs> Got together forever, aw, sweet. And we have ground, yeah, ground. So this person, um, this person needs to be um, a little bit more grounded, you know? Like, they're probably, like, so much worried about, like, the physical, external world um, that they're, you know, they're always, like, trapped. Like, their mind, like, they can really easily, like, put themselves down if things aren't going the way that they should be. And they might kind of just, like, back away and kind of... Um, They might back away and kind of just like separate from everything around them, like separate from reality sometimes, especially with this Pisces card here, if they're Pisces. Um, and then we have dark skin. So this can be like any culture that they are of, they have darker skin than like what their culture, like, I don't know, like maybe, um, yeah, they just have darker skin based on whatever their ethnicity is. So yeah, that was your reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if it resonated. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you. All right, those of you guys who have chosen the King of Diamonds, this reading here is for you. So we're gonna be looking into who is your soulmate, what are they like, their personality, their interests. So we got this Lover's Oracle card here, and it's gonna be looking into your connection and the energy that lies between it. King of Diamonds. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for clicking on my video. All right. Ooh, this is a long one. Okay, let's do this one first. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, this is so cute. It's like a little family. All right, so it says, Pure love is like the perfume of the rose given to all. The sun does not care upon whom it shines. The quality of true love, of pure love, knows no such dis distinctions as wife or husband, son or daughter, father or mother. Wow. So this is just talking about, you know, just true love. And like everyone is des des deserving of love no matter who you are, what you look like, where you're from. Um, 
especially with this card also popped up here so if you look like she's kind of in like a different kind of like traditional wear and he's like kind of like in like a basic like jacket so you guys might be from different cultures and it says love is unexpected you don't know when it will come and then we also have this one here and it says love will die if held too tightly love will fly if held too lightly okay And we have this one here. It says, it is better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for what you are not. So this person is really going to um, love all of your imperfections, you know. And there's going to be a balance in this relationship too. Like they're not going to hold you down too tightly, you know. But they're also not going to like back away and you know, make you lay there confused about your connection. And then last, we have this card here. Ooh, she's like in a wedding gown. And it says, some people come into our lives and quickly go. Others stay for a while, leave footprints on our hearts, and we are never, ever the same again. Wow. So I feel like this connection, like you guys unexpectedly meet and like, this might not be like your preference of a person like maybe you like people with blonde hair and this guy or gal has brown hair or multicolored or whatever it may be like there is a difference here you don't really see it coming but you connect instantly on uh, a soul level i'm gonna look into uh, more with the karma cards here for those of you choosing the King of Diamonds. Okay, these just fell out, sorry. For those of you who have chosen the King of Diamonds, what is your soulmate like? Who is your soulmate? King of Diamonds. King of Diamonds. Okay, this came out and this came out. King of Diamonds. Okay, I'll do top. Let's see what we got here. We've got the 10th house. We've got Scorpio. We've got Pluto. We've got the first house. This person may be into theater. Be like a theater kid. And then we got Aries and also Taurus. Alright. So as I shuffle these cards, I'm going to kind of just look into everything. Yeah, so it's like this person, like your soulmate feels like des like this connection was like destined. Like they know that you're supposed to you guys were supposed to be together. No matter what. Like you may have been going different ways, like mentally you may have like felt different ways about um each other. Or kind of like maybe mentally you guys had preferences um about who you want to be with, but like you let go of all of that as soon as you meet this person. King of Diamonds, here's your soulmate, King of Diamonds. King of Diamonds. So we have discontent and boredom. We have fulfillment of wishes. We have memories of love. Wow. So this is definitely a soulmate twin flame. Obviously, you're on this video. It's obviously a soulmate video. But 
yeah, just seeing this just really confirms it. And they're all green! These are all cup cards. Lots of... This, your soulmate may be a water sign, saying that. Like, definitely. Most definitely a water sign. Like, these are all cup cards. <clears throat> Your soulmate may have not been happy with how their life was going until they met you. And now it's like, they may have turned their back. Also, they may have turned their back on love and didn't really like see like love being a thing for them. And then they met you. Also, this could be a um, same-sex relationship with the rainbow down here. And also just with the whole, like, um, love is love, basically, with these cards here. Just speaking about, like, love, love is love. Um, just awesome. This, your soulmate may also be like a really strong um, manifester if they know it or not. Okay, I'm going to look into karma cards too. Now, this person may have uh, been in a relationship prior that had like a power struggle. Um, and there was a lot of like controlling aspects in that relationship, you know, and that's probably why they turned their back on love and didn't really think, um, think they would find someone again, you know, um, and it says like here, it says get to the heart. So like maybe mentally they were thinking like, um, I may, maybe mentally they have like expectations and then when they meet you, it's like, you know, they, you succeed their expectations and it's like, they thought of what they would want and it's like, that is like nothing until like they met you. It's like, you like exceed their expectations. Like you're better than what they thought they wanted, you know, you're everything that they, um, need in their life you know and i'm seeing immediately like it is an immediate connection as soon as they meet you it's just like yes we're together and if this is also like a same-sex relationship um this person may have like been hiding, hiding that um, with the mask here. They have maybe hiding their um, sexual um, orientation. Yeah, you're gonna like change this person's beliefs and how they saw love before um, they met you. And yeah, also with this, um, the Pluto card as like, uh, when I said like they, they may have been in a controlling relationship, like that ties in with this card here that it says on the back, Love will die if held too quickly. Love will fly if held too lightly. So they're not going to control the relationship and kind of like just have more of a balance with this relationship, especially with how they learn from their past relationships. Um, and especially like if you are, if this is a same sex relationship, it says here, it is better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for what you're not. So maybe their family might not be too happy with this, especially like if you look in the background, like that is like uh, uh, the mosaics that you see in like churches. 
so it's like maybe it's like and then this person's kind of like outside of the church like in the dark a little bit so maybe um their family may be like religious and they're like you know what i'd rather you guys hate me and so i can do what i love instead of like hiding behind like what i don't want you know and it may even like if you are in the same sex relationship then your soulmate may be someone from a different culture like a different cultural background like i said here how like there's different clothing here so you know maybe their their culture um their family wanted them to marry someone of the same ethnicity and you guys are not of the same ethnicity and that doesn't matter because love is love right so we're going to look into some channeled uh, messages here to see like their personality their looks what are they like? Maybe some things they have to say to you. Oh, let's go again. King of Diamonds, come out. All right. So we have vegetarian. So this your soulmate may be a vegetarian. Hope you love me too. So, you know, they hope that you feel the same way as they do. Together forever. This person wants to be with you forever and ever. You know, this might be your lifetime partner. Always around. So this person's gonna always wanna be around you, always wanna be like cuddling you and holding your hand and just being so lovey-dovey and touchy, especially if they're like a water sign, they're just like, I wanna be around you all the time. We also have sneaky. So your relationship may be like a secret and on the download, the, the DL um, for a little bit, especially if it's like something that your families won't really accept. We have big slash nice butt. This person has a nice booty. We have wears hats. So your soulmate might wear a lot of hats all the time. Especially like this guy is wearing a hat here. Who else is wearing a hat? This guy's wearing a hat in here. He's wearing a hat here. So yeah, this person may wear a lot of hats, loves hats. And they also may have brown hair. I'm seeing hands on here. So basically, uh, they like to use their hands, like maybe like cooking. They like building things. Um, yeah, anything that does with using their hands. So yeah, that was your reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I really hope that resonated. Please give me a like, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye. All right. So those of you who have chosen the two of diamonds, this reading here is for you. Just give me one second. I need to pick up some cards. love the squeaky chair all right so we're going to look into your lover's oracle into the lover's oracle here to look into your connection and the energies um between you two so the energy between your connection your connection for those of you who have chosen the two of diamonds Ooh. just snapped out all right so we got sometimes the heart sees with the hey guys sorry about that like my I ran out of storage so I had to delete a whole bunch of stuff so we want to start over. So we have um, 
Sometimes the one thing you are looking for is the one thing you cannot see. Wow, this, this guy's crying in her hands. If you love something, let it go. If it comes back to you, it was truly meant to be. This person, your soulmate, may, you may have already know your soulmate and they may have messed up on the connection or something like that. And they're like, wanna beg you for forgiveness. This might be for some of you, very few of you, like a very small percentage of you. And then we have, the ultimate sadness is to go through life without loving, but it would be almost equally sad to leave this world without ever telling those you love that you love, that you do love them. So this person wants to give you love. You know, they want to give you happiness. They want you to be happy. And they may have not, like if you, if you have already um, been with your soulmate or you are with your soulmate, like, at first, in the beginning of the connection, they may have not really um, been 100% available to you emotionally. Um, And they may have not, like, you guys may be very different, like, different backgrounds or so, something like this. Um, but they love you regardless. And if your soulmate has been in your life and kind of have just, like, left, just know it wasn't because of you, um, but... Maybe there's just like a whole bunch of stuff that they have to deal with before they can even like give you that love and happiness. And if you hear a little like snippering around, it's um, scampering around, it's my dog. He's being so cute. All right. So let's look into your tarot here. <laughs> What was that face? All right. I feel like I'm gonna pull some more. Okay. So we got rest and rejuvenate, but it's in reverse here. Um, we have conflict and defeat. We have obstacles and challenges we have the third eye chakra and we also have spiritual strength right yeah so i'm seeing like your soulmate like definitely had to deal with a lot of things um before um coming into this connection with you they may have um had some personal traumas um, they may be someone that's dealing with their, um, their mental health. They're probably the type of person that, like, instead of kind of, like, sitting down and resting when they need to, they kind of just, you know, keep moving on forward and, like, maybe put themselves to work a lot. But they have a lot of strength. They have a lot of spiritual strength. So whatever they do go through, they come out even stronger because they have faced a lot of obstacles and challenges in their life. And, you know, the only way they know how to overcome that stuff is moving forward. I know with the third eye chakra here, like they're very intuitive. Um, when they do um, have situations like um, they know what would be the best way to get out of it. Um, we're just going to look into the spiritual strength here, just so I can see a little bit more on that. So 
So this card is coming forth to give you encouragement and remind you that you have the inner strength to complete whatever you've been working on. This final spirit card represents courage, discipli discipline, stability, and persistence. You may be tired or weary from the struggle, but now is not the time to give in. Instead, tap into all of your inner reserves for that one final push and to achieve the desired outcome. You've been through so much to get to this point, and even though you may have acquired some scars from the battle, you're wiser and stronger for it. Yep, I definitely see that with this conflict and defeat card. Even maybe they were in a prior relationship that really, like, that was not healthy. A very toxic relationship. They came out of a toxic relationship. And then they had to go through their own personal obstacles and challenges. But they came out, they're pushing. They're pushing so hard and they're coming out really strong. And at the end of it, we got the third eye chakra. So this person is definitely coming into your life stronger than before they may have a lot of stories to tell you about their life um especially when i'm looking at this card here this this dude he's like coming in from war it kind of seems like he's all like armored up um but he has a little like flower in his hand he's like through all of that i'm still coming forward to you Yeah, it literally looks like he's coming back from battle with a little flower to like come and like greet you and love you up. Yeah, so you might also have a lot to learn from this person, from this soulmate of yours. They've been through a whole lot, but they're so strong. They might also be very spiritual, especially the third eye chakra here and the spiritual strength. They are, they always, they keep pushing. They keep pushing for sure. Um, so yeah, for well, those of you who've chosen the two of diamonds, we're going to look into more about, oh my gosh, who your soulmate is. So we have Taurus, Uranus, Cancer, Sagittarius, and then we have the 10th house. So this person, your soulmate is Coming into this relationship with a different way of looking at things. All right. And the things that they have learned, um, the experiences that they have went through uh, may also help you with something that you're going through currently. And they will really help you get through that. Yeah, this person is very intuitive with the Cancer card here. They're very intuitive. They're, they learn a lot from their past. Whatever has happened in their past, like, they've learned a lot from. Um, it also says here, resulting from the history of. So basically, who they are today really just stems from their experiences that they had. And with the Sagittarius card here, it's like they really like push to like get themselves out into the world and to be more um, not necessarily in the spotlight, but to be more true to themselves, like more authentic to themselves because they have gone through a lot and like experienced a lot. So they're trying not to like retreat and just, you know, stay in a little ball or, or whatever. They're really learning from their experiences. This person is very responsible and very uh, successful as well.
and the way they come into your life may be very unexpected and unusual. All right, so we're just gonna look into the channeled messages now to see a little bit about their personality, their interests, uh, what they wanna say, what they like. All right, so two of diamonds, soulmate. Two of diamonds. This one wants to come out. Oh. Okay, let's see what we got. We have likes to drink. Um, when I wrote this out, like when I channeled it, um, I also like felt like like I was drinking cider. Like I felt like cider in my throat. So they might also just really love ciders. I also got big slash nice butt. Got vegetarian. So they may be a vegetarian or you're a vegetarian. Um, and because you're a vegetarian, you change their mind about eating meat. We have hope you love me too. We have best sex. Ooh. Mmm. Saucy. We have knight in shining armor, which like makes so much sense. Look at that. This person doesn't just have to be a knight. Uh, you know, they can be like it doesn't just have to be a masculine knight. You also have don't forget me. You know, if they are going through a lot of things, um, they don't want you to like forget about them, you know? Like they really care about you. We also have children, so you may be having children with this person or you already have children with them or they love kids. They also smoke or used to smoke. <clears throat> Is there anything else here? Let me see if I can get anything else. Oh, this one flew. So they may be tan, they have tan skin, especially with this guy over here. And then the foot over here is really tan. We also have green thumb. We have ground, so this person's uh, uh, very grounded um, or finding their way to be more grounded. We have famous, okay. Oh, especially, I'm just looking here. Become a person of status and power. So yeah, this person may be famous or be famous one day. Oh, we have actor. So they may be an actor. <laughs> we also have moles slash beauty marks. We have funny. Be a really funny person or even like a comedian. We also have always around, so they'll always want to be around you, holding your hand, cuddling with you. And then we also got olive skin. So yeah, that was your reading. I hope you guys liked it and that it resonated. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.